the hell? It's like a hurricane came through. Stay alert. At least we have chopper support. Huh, no such luck. That's a TV helicopter. They're here already? We have wounded. What happened here? It... It was furious. It destroyed everything in its path. What did... A monster? Robo, I'm in the Channel 9 helicopter. I'm seeing a lot of movement on the executive floor. I know exactly where that is. We need to get up there. No, get the injured out of the building. I will handle what is up there. You sure? Positive. You heard him. Let's evacuate everyone. Hurry up! and they're all giving me consistent descriptions. So unless everyone is getting it wrong, there's an old friend waiting for you upstairs. You can expect... Trouble? That's right. Make sure there is no one left in the building. Will do, partner. to the western corner of the executive floor. It's... it's something. I... from me Robocop my number one guy there seems to be a misunderstanding future. That leaves one question. 
scrapyard or a prison, creep. Just an old friend. Do you need backup? I repeat, do you need backup? Copy that.
backup. I repeat, do you need backup? Negative. You will not win this.
somewhere. One more person here that needs saving. What? Murphy? We are not done yet. Another week passed since the OCP's magnificent giant has fallen. OCP's new CEO assured us that the destruction of its headquarters will not stand in the way of finishing Delta City. Japanese corporation Kanemitsu has already shown interest in OCP's most prominent project. We at Media Break welcome them with open arms. Delta City Yokoso! From the City of Wonders, we're back to Detroit. The city's debt has reached a new peak. Re-elected Mayor Kuzak, asked about his plans for reform, said he had other plans instead. 
OCP is the weakest it's ever been. We'll sue them even if we need a Japanese lawyer, he assures us. Now it's time to introduce a new segment, You the Detroiters, where we share feel-good stories from our local communities. Disgraced Senator Farrell took hostages at the local theater and called for his reinstatement. However, a former vagrant and the theater's newest employee managed to defuse the situation. When asked why he decided to risk his life, Pickles, a European cinema connoisseur, said that it was simply disrespectful to interrupt the screening. Let's just hope Pickles does not influence the theater's movie selection. Next up, Sunblock 5000 model nearly torn to pieces by an ED 209 after not adhering to the 209's instructions. The dispute over a parking space could have turned deadly if it wasn't for Dr. Olivia Blanche, a seasoned psychologist who managed to keep a cool head during the 209's intervention. Dr. Blanche's new book, Coping with Loss, is said to be of value to both people and machines alike. A defamed reporter funded by terrorists. After trying to illegally broadcast a hit piece aimed at OCP, Samantha Ortiz has been spotted collaborating with a terrorist group led by a woman known in the underworld as Bertha. OCP denied. We're sorry for the disturbance. Fortunately, this time it was a minor one. Let's move on. A new world record has been set in Detroit. A man called Funeral Bob attended his thousandth funeral this year. The record-breaking funeral belonged to Max Becker, a former OCP executive. As it turned out, Bob was its only attendee. The OCP delegation did not arrive due to a rescheduled business meeting. We hope the meeting went well. Moving on. The owner of a local restaurant, Onion Baji, in cahoots with a ring of zoo thieves. The restaurant was proved to source the ingredients through crime. The arrest was made by a rookie neighborhood cop, Ulysses Washington, and according to his statement, it wasn't the first animal he had saved. One question still remains unanswered. What happens to Robocop's human status? Mayor Kuzak distances himself from Robocop and leaves no doubt that he will not be advocating for granting him human rights. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public conversation. I hope OCP doesn't take him off the street. Who will protect us then? Ah! It's Robocop! Robo! I love you! speaker. Pure pens of money. To many more years on the force, Robocop. It's been a busy time for Detroit, but the cloud that lowers over the city is lifting as police end their strike. We're ready to serve, said Officer Ann Lewis, who returned to duty despite her recent injury. What heroism. Detroit can sleep soundly tonight. The question is, for how long? That's all for today. This was Casey Wong. Until next time.